quick base tutorial how to use quick base step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can get started with quick base now quick base has recently integrated ai into its features it has provided you with a all-in-one solution to multiple different problems such as your projects your resource management workflow management delivery compliance management and so much more so let's get into it now to get started with QuickBase, simply head on over to quickbase.com and click on start free trial on the top right. Now from here you can get started and all you have to do is input your email address and create a password. And you just have to provide your first name, last name, and your company name. So I'm just going to sign in over here because I have created my account on QuickBase. We're just going to input our login information over here. And once you have created your account on QuickBase, this is going to be your dashboard. So as you guys can see, this is my current dashboard. On the top, I have a panel, which is going to display all of my applications. So this includes my pipelines, my exchange beta, 101, and more. Now, after that, on the top right, you actually have your account information and preferences. Now over here we have our pipelines where we can manage different um, workflows as well. And then we have our exchange beta. So the QuickBase exchange is basically a fully curated template section that allows you to build according to your personal preferences. So you can go on ahead and choose a template to get started with on QuickBase and then you can customize it further according to your needs. So to get started, I can go into my My App section and I can click on create new app. Now with app, what QuickBase really just means is that you can create a new segregated section for you. You can create a custom app with AI. You can start from scratch, import a spreadsheet or import from Lucidchart as well. Now I'm gonna click on start from scratch over here and you can start building with QuickBase. So you can enter the basic name as well. And from the left, you can see the different types of items you can add. You can add tables, text, checkboxes, numeric information, calendars, the card, as well as formulas, date, time, user formulas, and more. Now, it can be a bit difficult to get started from scratch. So I do recommend checking out a template before you get started or at least customizing a template before you get started so we're going to click on create new app and you can click on the use the ai smart builder to get started now we're going to add our industry so let's say we are in marketing and let's say we want to build a project management solution and content calendar for our brand durden like this and then you can add the specific items that you want to track or report or manage on so let's say this is going to be our content schedule our tasks are let's say we have um content ideas and then i can just click on create over here now what the ai does is that it takes my descriptive information and then it converts it into a usable template that i can further customize accordingly so i'm just going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be completed it can take upwards of 10 minutes this really depends on how much information that you added and i recommend adding the most amount of information so the ai can work best according to your preference so as you guys can see quickbase has built a ai based template for us so it's going to add some sample data as well you guys can see this has built a home section and then in our home section it's showing us the content schedule the number of content schedules social media website email so where we're getting our maybe subscriptions from then you have the content status Below that, we have a list. So we have our brand name, brand description, website, and more information. And then we have our summary. Now, this is just a dashboard. You guys can see you can click on users over here to get started with adding individual users. So I can go on ahead and click on share app with new users. And then you can just input their email address. So we're just going to verify our email and then we can get started with sending applications. So we're going to click on send verification email over here to verify our own mail account over here. 
so i'm just going to go on ahead and go into quick base and just like that we're just going to proceed into our account and then we're just going to add a security question like this and then i'm just going to click on verify over here like so and now once we've completed our verification let's head on over into our dashboard and now i can go into users and then i can uh, go on ahead and click on share app and i can just go on ahead and enter the email address and then i can select their role so if they are meant to be a participant administrator or none now after that you have your brand section for our particular template where it has built a reporting and chart section so what it has done over here is that it's taken my business and built different brands accordingly now if this is going to be um accurate to you you can keep this but you can always customize this further to befit your actual needs so you guys can see we have our table structures here we have our table views here as well so what i'm going to do is i can go into this particular brand so i can click on add new brand and it's going to add a new brand as well and i can add more information about that brand instead you can further customize accordingly but i like to keep it as it is because um it's a pretty simple template for now now after we have created this we can go into our task section so the task section just shows you the related brand the task title task description due date assignee status priority and related dependencies now it also has a brand name website and other information so i can go on ahead and start clicking on add task and i can add more tasks into this particular form i can also go ahead and go into our content ideas section to be able to see all of the content ideas that we have built now this is just a simple template if you want to get started from scratch with your template you can go back into your home page and click on delete sample data and this will delete all of your sample data so after you've deleted your sample data you can go on ahead and customize it accordingly so you can add your new brand over here and there won't be any sample data to get in your way now if i want to build something a bit simpler so i would go on ahead and use the um, start from scratch builder and I want a simple day-to-day -day task. So I'm just going to add time management. My personal time management. Like this. And then I can insert a simple table. Now, what I'm going to do is I am just going to expand this a little. And then on the top right, I have the icon as well as the table name. So this might be tasks. And then I want my first... Uh, field to be tasks and it's going to be a text line and this is going to be text multi-line or just a text line then let's say i have my second item which is going to be um time and you know this is going to dictate to me when i'm supposed to complete a particular task so i can add that over here for this i'm going to be using text as well and then let's say this is going to say type of task and this is going to be a multi-select or multi-choice option so text multiple choice and then on the right i can add the particular choice it's from so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add my choices and the choices are going to be work and then i'm going to add school and then i'm going to add leisure like this and then you can just click on create app on the top right this is just a very simplified example so this is just one task board that i've created and i can create multiple boards in this way in quick base so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with quick base if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say